In fact, before talking about the need for interface, we have one more thing to add here. So let's say if I have an interface and I'm creating a class which implements A, one interface here, can a class implement multiple interface? Example, let's say if I have interface which is called X, so if I say interface X, so B class implements A and X both, and the answer is yes. If you can see, there's no error here. The only thing is whatever method you define here. So let's say the method name here is run. You can see we got an error here. The only thing you have to do is you have to define run as well. So you will say public void run. So basically we can have one class implementing multiple interfaces. Now that's not the case with abstract class, right? Because in abstract class, we can, we can extend only one class. In interface, you can have a class implementing multiple interfaces. So here I can simply print running. Okay, so what we are doing is we are using multiple methods here. We have three methods coming from two different interfaces. This interface says two methods, show and config. And this interface is has only one method, which is one. And you can see we got uh, three methods here. Uh, there's one more thing. Let's say we have one more interface, which is called uh, interface Y. Now the thing is, when you talk about class and class, a, a class can extend another class, right? What about interface? Can we do interface and interface? What keyword we have to use here? See, whenever you have interface to interface, we say extends. So interface Y extends X. So inheritance is, is valid here as well. Now in this Y interface, you will be having a method called run. So that's the inheritance. Okay, so you will get this declaration in the interface Y as well. Let me show you. If I remove this X and if I keep Y, even now we have to use run. Otherwise, if you remove run from here, if you comment this part, you can see it will give you error. It says, uh, the type B must implement the inherited ab abstract method run, okay? But we are implementing Y, right? It's just that Y extends X, so we have to use run. Now, point to remember here is whenever you have a class to class, we say they extends. Whenever you have class to interface, basically a class is in implementing interface, so we have to say implements. And whenever you have interface to interface, we say that extends again. Okay, this is the point you have to remember. So again, I will comment, uncomment this part. Okay, now there's only one thing you have to remember. Whenever you create a reference of A interface, an object of B, which is a class, I can only call two methods, which is of part A. If I try to call run with A, it will not work because A has no idea what run method is. If you can see, in A, we don't have uh, run. In fact, what I will do is I will just remove this code for time being, yeah. And then if you want to implement run, if you want to call run, in that case, we need to create the reference of X, which is obj1 is equal to new B. Now with this obj1, I can call run, but again, I can't call other two, two other methods, okay? So that's one thing you have to remember. Okay, now once we are good with this, let's try to understand what's the need of the interface.